news tonight, a Chattanooga family says they paid a septic repair company thousands of dollars for work, but only to have a yard filled with sewage to show for it. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. In a News Channel 9 investigation, Greg Thunderberg gets answers for the homeowners. Alfreda Fletcher says she paid the septic tank company in April. Now, three months later, the work remains incomplete. So I did some digging and found out this isn't the first time the business owner she hired has faced complaints. Running sewage in a messy yard is what Alfreda Fletcher says she's been facing since April. So I'm left with... So she hired Michael Davenport, the owner of Poop Do Septic Service in Chattanooga. I had two small holes on the side of my septic tank. They repaired that. Then they told me that I needed brand new field lines put in. So I had brand new field lines put in. Fletcher says Davenport gave her this invoice for $4,800. You will notice on the top is the name Tennessee Valley Excavating, but it has Poop Do's LLC written in. She says when she asked Davenport about the two names, he told her Poop Do's is his new company. These checks show two payments totaling $5,000, which included a $200 tip. And I said, well, at this day and time, you know, things are kind of hard for everybody, and I wanted to kind of be a blessing to him. But two weeks later, Fletcher says the leakage started once again. I, after I called, I text. And I did talk to him a couple of times in between, and he kept telling me, you know, I was a priority. But Fletcher says she was fed up. So I went ahead and I filed a complaint. Then I got in contact with News Channel 9 U. We discovered the Better Business Bureau is familiar with Davenport. In past history, yes, we've had other complaints on their other business names with this individual. BBB President Jim Winsett says they have reports of three businesses under Michael Davenport's name. They include Tennessee Valley Excavating, the name originally on Fletcher's invoice, as well as Chattanooga Septic and now Poop Dude Septic. Winsett says the three complaints they have on file are similar that he had uh, given bids on, had taken money either in full or in partial payment, and then simply did not come back and do the job. Winsett says they haven't been able to get an answer from Davenport either. Hey, this is Michael from the PD. We were able to reach Davenport by phone. Hey, Michael, it's Greg Funderburg at News Channel 9. And voice Fletcher's concerns. Just wanted to see if you were able to get in contact with Ms. Fletcher. Yet. But he did say he would reach out to her. I also questioned him about past complaints to the BBB. Mm, no, not this time. I don't know what they'd be referring to. Just where you've taken money from people for jobs and you did not finish the work? Um, yeah, I can think of one instance where that happened. I, they end up getting their money back, though. I did more digging and found this case in Hamilton County Sessions Civil Court where a plaintiff claims they signed a contract with Davenport, they paid him, and he never did the work. She won a $1,000 judgment last summer, but the court clerk told me the money hasn't been paid because Davenport filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in November 2019. And for Fletcher, she says the whole situation stinks. And I can't let him get away with something that he did wrong and didn't finish what he said he was going to do. I'm Greg Funderburg for News Channel 9. Davenport did agree to an interview, but then canceled. Fletcher says she received a notice from Hamilton County that the septic issue must be fixed because it's now a health hazard or she could face legal action. She says that's her top priority right now.